Hey, welcome back YouTubers to another hashtag TTH unboxing and showcase. So let's dive into it. So those of you who've been following my recent videos, I can't remember when the first one was put out or when I got into Victory at Sea, it was a while ago. It was the Pacific uh, two-player starter set. A bit of a, a jam unboxing of that one. Um, I rewatched it the other day. I think I might do another video on it in now that everything's sort of painted up but i'm going to continue doing it like this i'm going to get the stuff painted and then you can see what they will look like once they're done i feel a lot of these box unboxings of the stuff when you um unbox it out of its wrapping and then you have the plastic edges that aren't cut and you know if that you need to file down that type of thing so yeah let's let's dive into it um so as I said, I got into this game. I'm a big fan of fleet-based games. Uh, it started when I got um, I played a game at one of my local wargaming shops of Star Wars Armada, which I will be doing reviews on as well. Um, it's just the supplier for the that for the shop that handles all the empire and rebel stuff is a bit slow so i'm not doing anything right now because i don't have an empire fleet a big enough one so i will get to that but anyways let's dive into this so long story short i really am enjoying um fleet based games i love the scale of this um at first when i saw the smaller cruisers and destroyers i thought eh, they could have been a bit bigger but then you start getting to the battleships like this and the carriers that then you're like, no, never mind. Um, so yeah, I don't know how old the game is. Um, I did a recent video on the unboxing of the New Mexico and the and the Yamato. Um, the Yamato was very large; it's similar size to the hood over here. Um, so as you can see, I've recently finished. Uh, I've just finished the fleet with the hood. The planes I still need to finish. They're a little tricky because they're very small. So I've primed them already in um, Army Painter Crystal Blue. And then I'm going to work on the planes. Unfortunately, my one, this comes with four, four of these things. The one snapped. So I just cut the planes off what I could salvage and put them down on the carrier for a bit of effect. Um, so I'm not too, I mean, yeah, okay, I could have contacted the company and said, listen, I want to refund. But at the, this point in time, I don't know how the planes are. I haven't tested them yet. This is my first fleet with the planes. I have, I'm doing this more for the Pacific campaign. Um, so I'm waiting for the US fleet and I had a chance to grab this one because it had a carrier. So for now I can at least learn how to use the, the airplanes in the game. Um, but this was a bundle I couldn't ignore it was for a very reasonable amount and because of COVID a lot of the stock and and ordering is slowed down so once this had been bought by someone else it would have taken nearly a month to get another one so I thought what why not and I'm a big fan of this this ship it's very famous those of you who've watched the movie Sink the Bismarck and know the history about the Battle of the Atlantic um, know how pinnacle and important this ship was very famous unfortunately it suffered quite a quick death um very very lucky shots they they said that because of the type of battleship it was it was last of the dreadnought class so if it hadn't been hit the way it was it would have given bismarck quite a bit of a fight i could be wrong you can let me know in the comments um but i'm really enjoying the stuff the, the, these models um from a fleet based game it's it's nice to alternate between armada and this this is your realistic you know non fictional side and um my my opinion is it's just when you're playing armada obviously because it's futuristic and it's fantasy you know you've got a lot of defenses and shields so you can get a really good dice roll and the opponent can cancel every one of them out just by some upgrade cards which can get quite irritating because it's like oh well, that was a waste um with this you know I can use a destroyer and fire a couple of torpedoes at a battleship and still get damage, you know, on, on the enemy target. So, so it's going well. I've played two, three games so far, still learning, um, having a lot of fun. I like the two player starter set for this game. The fact that it comes with everything you need and the two mats. 
Um, so I'm just building up the fleet. I don't know if I'm going to go for the German fleet. I suppose I have to now because I've gone Atlantic. But at that, that'll be at a later stage. Right now, it's just I got this so I can learn the, the, the way of using planes. But also just it's a fleet that interested me. So let's dive into it. So what do we get? So this is the British Royal Navy fleet. And then if you want the extras, obviously, you can you can get the hood. They're not big boxes. I mean, that's my hand. It's roughly my hand size. You know, so sometimes when you watch these and you've never seen the boxes before and the guys are doing unboxing, it's you get the impression they're a little larger. The The two-player set is, is larger for the Pacific. Um... I don't know why there's no two-player set for the Atlantic and the Germans, I suppose, because a lot of the ships are battleships, so it would cost the company maybe a bit more. The two-player set, as you can see in one of my previous videos, comes with cruisers and um, destroyers. My only thing with that set is I would have added a carrier for either the Japanese or the Americans, just to... Because it's a two-player starter set. You want to know how to work the game. So without a carrier, you, you're you missing an element. Um so what do you get so if we push this aside so all of that it does come with its ship cards and its damage tokens um and then a little quick manual on how to paint how to put these together the parts the wrapping and then a um world of warships redeemer code that's why i'm not i'm just looking at the main what the eye candy is of these sets so the ship cards if you're into this game you know what they look like um so yeah, you get a stack of those for these ships, and then you get, in this one obviously it's the same thing, just a micro version. Um, so let's have a look at the hood quickly. I absolutely love this model, it came together really nicely, I just gave it a very, it's basic first um, paint, uh, paint job. So you can do it in the, the Atlantic naval scheme type thing or all that i just went for the standard gray battleship gray with adding a bit of brown tan for the the lifeboats and then a bit of metal for the turrets let's get it to focus um it is a very big battleship i mean for the model it's its base is huge but i, I it, it's very nice i mean i like this the idea of these models and how they came to be i know a lot of the word on the group if you're on the 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 victory at sea unofficial group on facebook because a lot of guys are printing these or making their own or just cutting trying to cut the bases off because they'd prefer just the ships but i think it protects the model i mean yeah i suppose without these bases you've got your proper arcs your measuring because i know with the measuring tools with these it's quite tricky to get you know where to measure from but still in my opinion they added and then also if you just like want to collect them i mean i got a few mates who are doing this and they're purely just collecting the like the bismarck the hood you know and then a few of the carriers from the pacific and then the yamato and then you can these to put on if you have a nice cabinet for yourself or a shelf these would make nice display models um i purposely got into this game because i'm huge nuts about um, history and relearning the like i want to do the battle of midway maybe the denmark straits and then getting an understanding of how it went but i like this box set um for the british i i if you if you are looking for value i mean it's right here i mean you've got your three tribal class destroyers you've got your let's just see what this is quickly yeah ditto class strange name i would not name a cruiser like that you've got your belfast also if you know this ship, very um, very historical. So to get that in the box, it is quite nice. It's an Edinburgh class cruiser. Um, you get your Neptune, which I think is a Leander. Sorry, a Leander class cruiser. And then you get your Duke of York, which is your King George V, I believe. Yep, I thought it was the... Um, the King George V, I was wrong. It's the Duke of York. Um, not the King George, I'm lying. The Prince of Wales, because the Prince of Wales looks very similar to that. Um, and then, of course, the one thing I really liked, and one of the reasons why I got it, was the, the carrier. I'm a bit surprised it's so small. I think the ones in the Pacific are a little longer, and I know the Graf Zeppelin is huge. 
I think it's got the same size base as the battleships, maybe slightly shorter. And yeah, I just added some of the planes to it. Um, yeah, came together quite nicely. And then your yeah, your tribal class destroyers, they're ugh, nothing much to look at, but they, they work. I think these have got torpedoes on them. Um, and then, of course, the main one, the, the, the hood. So if you are going to go for the Brits, I mean, to complete it, I wouldn't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't go for two of these things, these sets, because you can't really have the same of the same ship sort of thing. Meaning you can't have two Duke of Yorks, you can't have two Belfasts, Bel Belfasts, you know, so it's, I suppose you could file off the name and put your own name on, but anyways, from a value, from a value point of view, it's, it, it really, I mean, these two together, these two should actually be like a bundle, um, in my opinion. The, the the shop should allow you like listen you can buy them separately or there is a bundle price for both um and then obviously your planes as i said nothing hectically detailed nothing major to look at let's just get it to focus come on yeah that's i don't think it'll focus any more than that yeah these are your swordfish you've got bta written on them which means um, bomber, torpedo, or air. And then these little covers you put on and then you can slide them to um, choose which one you want. I, I rate I'm going to glue them and just have maybe two torpedo squadrons and one dive bomber. Um, but all in all, a lot of fun to put together. As I've said in my previous video, the only gripe I have is that a, so I think I may be wrong. Maybe these sets are a little older than the new two-player, but... So my two problems I have, just for people who are starting out, give them options. Let's have a British and German starter fleet. Let's have a Japanese and American, which they have already. It's brilliant. Everything you need to play. Because if you want to start this game and only focus on the, um, the Atlantic, you're going to need to get the starter set anyway and then maybe just sell the the Pacific campaign ships because it comes with everything you need. So make a two player some for something like this. And then the components here, they add weight. So all the turrets and the conning towers and the bridges and everything like that. And the antennas for all these ships, they're all metal. And when I got mine, mine were incredibly bent. So I had to do a lot of reshaping. And unfortunately on the Yamato, I think, one of the, the AA turrets barrels were broken. So that's why I say sometimes plastic, you know, it's a lot easier to cut off the little sprue and you can reshape it if it's skew. And the metal ones are incredibly tricky to clip off and sometimes you go skew and snip the barrels. So, yeah, as I said, they came together when they're sitting here as they are. I mean, I don't, I personally don't have a problem. They're ready to be played with. And they, they look the pot. You know, if you want to go into an immense detail on these, go for it. But I just, I'm doing mine um, quite plainly, just so they're ready to play like my other ones. But once I get to a point where I've got the US fleet, I'll do a video on that. And then I'll do the whole, my whole collection together to give you guys an idea, those of you who are starting out. And as I said, the scales. So, yeah. That's more or less your scale. So if we get a 28 millimeter wargaming figure. So, yeah, not very big. They won't take up too much space. So if you're going to get into the stuff, I do recommend it. Um, and they just look really cool. I, I, I love it. They're historical. I mean, you, you're learning about tactics. You're reading about these ships and where they served and what they did. And also the battles you can recreate. I am tempted at one point to do the um, uh, the merchant fleet. So you can do missions where you guard merchant ships like they did in the Atlantic. Or do scenario based games where you have to protect them. Um, so yeah, that's one set I'm after. And then maybe I'll grab a carrier for the, the, the Japanese fleet that I've got because they don't have one. But as I said, guys, if you're into World War II fleet-based games, this is, I definitely recommend it. 
it won't take up too much space. It's very reasonably priced. I don't know how it is overseas, but where I am in South Africa, it's not bad at all. Um, so as I said, a lot of fun putting them together. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative. Anything else I need to say about the kit? Uh, it's 1 in 1800 scale. These are all the models you get in this set and then the hood in that one with your ship cards and your details and your pamphlets. Um, so as always, guys, thanks for listening. Leave a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and there will be more videos on the way. And I also, the name of my channel is Terrain Technician. I do do terrain. I will be doing terrain for this, maybe some islands and cliffs and things like that. Definitely will be coming. Um, if you've got a few projects coming my way and currently that I'm busy with, but there will be another video. As always, guys, cheers. Have a good one. Hit that subscribe button and leave a like. Thanks.